What's up, everybody? RJ Bates the third here, and today I'm going to be breaking down a video that my friend Jerry Norton made about me, named "Is RJ Bates Really the Best Closer in Wholesale Real Estate?" First and foremost, what an honor to even be mentioned by Jerry Norton. I've had the honor to be a guest on his podcast. We did a live video where he was calling agents and I was calling sellers. Uh, it's just such a humbling moment to have that kind of a relationship with an icon in our industry like Jerry Norton. And I had no idea that he had done the research on me after being a judge in the 2023 Closures Olympics. He came to me and he said, hey, man, I'm, I'm posting a video about your closing techniques and your closing style. This is right before we rolled out the closers formula. So it was a shock to me. It was an honor and it's been a blessing uh, just utilizing his audience, his following to bring awareness to us, Titanium Investments and my brand. Uh, it's It's been amazing. So. Let's hop into this, my first ever reaction video. Let's hop in to see what Mr. Norton had to say about my closing techniques. One of the top wholesalers in the industry, if not arguably the best in the industry, is my friend RJ Bates. I, I, dude, right out of the gates. Like, like I said, what a, just what an honor to, to literally be considered one of the best in the industry uh, by Jerry Norton. Um, and, and like he's, you know, going to show here, he's actually had the the front row seats, right? He judged me at Closers Olympics and we did those lives together. So, um, man, thank you, Jerry. Really appreciate that. And he has the accolades to back it up. He won the 2021 and 2023 Closer Olympics, the 2022 Wholesaling Live Closer Challenge, and he's undefeated in four Closer Cage matches. Not only a fierce competitor, but one thing I love about RJ is while most wholesalers replace themselves and eventually hire sales reps, not RJ. Now, I will say, I do have a team, and I, yes, I do talk to sellers and stuff like that, not on a day to day basis. Now, I, I did that during the 50 day challenge, like he's about to talk about, but it, on a daily basis, I'm more running the business working in the business, not, not necessarily only talking to sellers. So again, I appreciate the shout out, but I do have a team. I have kind of worked myself a little bit out of this seat. He's remained on the phones, personally closing deals every single day. He even closed 50 deals in 50 states in 50 days, which is proof alone that his methods work. So I've studied RJ and what I've discovered is he follows a no nonsense approach to close sellers that I've broken down into five simple steps. I love the fact that he broke it down into five simple steps. And we literally have that video of here's RJ's five simple steps to closing 125 contracts in 50 days. That's hilarious that someone else has literally watched what I do and said, hey, you can break it down into five simple steps. That's really cool to see. That I'm going to share with you here on this video. But first, if you're new here, my name is Jerry Norton. I make millions of dollars a year wholesaling and flipping houses. And here on my YouTube channel, I show you how to do the same. So if you want to be a flipping genius like me and live your dream life, subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. Gotta love the full effort in the marketing and branding itself, even in these types of videos. I gotta learn from Jerry right there. I gotta learn. Oh, hey, by the way, if you're just tuning in, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Now, before I reveal RJ's exact sales playbook, I want to point out five unique things that will give proper context to RJ's sales process. First of all, like I mentioned, RJ closes on the phone virtually. He does not go on appointment. Now, that's significant because his goal is to do a one call close and get the seller to sign a digital contract right then and there. The now, that does not mean if we don't get the contract on that first dial, that we're not going to follow up. I do follow up and get contracts on the second, third, fourth, fifth dial, okay? But yes, he is right. The goal 
in each one of these goals is to get the seller to sign a contract on that first dial. Second thing I want to point out about RJ is his go-to marketing channel is to create inbound leads from online ads. Inbound leads means the seller sees an ad online, fills out a form, or calls a number. When the seller calls in, their intent or motivation is really high. That means you close more deals for deeper discounts with shorter conversion cycles. Okay, he is right about the inbound leads. That is our go-to method, and it's where we do get the majority, like over 50% of our deals. We still do have outbound marketing for cold calling, utilizing virtual assistants. Just want to throw that out there because a lot of people go, well, I can't do what RJ does because I can't afford the inbound leads yet. We still do outbound marketing as well. With inbound internet leads, RJ's goal is to convert one out of every seven to 10 leads. Now, by the way, if you'd like a recommendation on who you can use to help you set up, run, and manage your online lead generation, I'll give you my go-to service provider in the description box below. Full. He's always marketing. I love Jerry, man. You're always marketing, brother. I love it. Um, on that one out of seven to 10 leads, that is a personal KPI of mine. Um, now, I will also say that has been replicated by people inside of our community as well as inside of our team here at Titanium Investments. So it's not an RJ specific KPI. Other people have been able to replicate that as well. Now, the third thing that I want to point out about RJ's sales approach is his average call time is around four minutes, which is insane. Now, compare that to most sales presentations, which average around 30 minutes with the same close ratio of one in 10 leads. That means RJ can get through seven times more calls in the same time as most wholesalers that are using a longer sales process. What's crazy about this, I asked Jerry how he came up with that number of four minutes because that's not a number that I have necessarily like broadcasted or I, I don't say it on podcasts and stuff like that. He actually did research and, and accumulated that as an average call time through my calls. Um, I found that to be highly interesting. That's including the very short ones, but it also includes the really long closes as well. Um, powerful KPI, powerful uh you know research done there by jerry i appreciate the the hard work he did on, on preparing for this video now the fourth thing i want to point out is rj's method is not a complicated sales script in fact i actually consider it an anti-sales approach it's simple yes. it's clear and it's right to the point yes that means you don't need any sales experience to master his techniques yes anyone can learn how having said that rj is the first to tell you to not copy his style copy oh, his yes. process, but you have to talk in your own authentic voice. Remember, people do business with people they know, like, and trust, and authenticity is more effective than any kind of sales tactic. And finally, the fifth- Bro, Jerry, come on with the fire, baby. That is absolutely right. It's about being real. It's about being raw. It's about being authentic. It's about being yourself, okay? make sure that they want to do business with you because they know who you are right i love that man what a powerful powerful statements there by jerry appreciate that let's enter the fifth one man i'm fired up the thing that you need to know about rj sales approach is to remember that you are not selling something like most sales you are the buyer which means the seller should be convincing you to buy their house not you convincing them to sell you their house Oh, preach it, brother. Yes, that's what I'm talking about right there. We're the buyer. They are selling us. Sell us the property. That's what I'm talking about, Jerry. It's a subtle difference in how you position yourself, but has a huge impact in the overall sales process. So now with that proper context, let's break down RJ's five-step sales process. Hey, he already get five things. Now we can get into the five steps. Okay. All right. I'm liking this. Let's see where we go. Let's see what he says on step one here. This is going to be interesting. See how much it actually mirrors how I teach this. Curious to see how Jerry breaks this down. Once RJ gets an internet lead, step one is to verify the seller still wants to sell. It. it sounds like this. Hi, this is RJ. I see you filled out one of our forms on the internet about selling your house on 123 Main Street. Do you still want to sell that house? Yes. Okay, step two is where RJ differs from everyone else. Yes. He directly asks what price the seller wants. He literally asked in the first 60 seconds, what price do you want for your house? On 
Sometimes in the first 12 seconds, baby, they're selling us the house. You, you just said you want to sell. Every seller has a price associated with the object in which they're selling. So should sellers of houses. One, two, three, Main Street. Hey, is uh, Kim there? This is she. Hey, Kim, this is uh, RJ Bates calling you about your property uh, in Jay, Oklahoma. You had uh, uh -huh. entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell that one? Yes. Awesome. How much are you looking to get for that property? And according to RJ, which... I love that he used that example because I use that example all the time. She did not give me a number right there. That video is called The Art of How to Shut Up. She says, I don't know. I mean, how much are you willing to offer? And I said, oh, I thought you wanted to sell. And she said, well, we do. And I said, well, you want to call me back when you have an ASCII price? And the husband screams from the background, 100000 I love that call. That's one of my favorite seller calls of all time. I'm so glad he used that example. I've witnessed firsthand, 90% of the time, the seller gives their price. RJ's philosophy is they raised their hand, they filled out a form that they want to sell. Why not ask them point blank what price they want? Seems logical. So you might be wondering, what does RJ do if the seller won't give the price? Well, here's what he does. He moves on to step three, then comes right back and says, are you sure you don't have a price in mind? I don't want to waste your time or my time. I'm sure you've got a number in mind. And if they still won't give a number, he'll say, are you afraid that I might offer more than the price you give me because I can promise you that won't happen. <laughs> that is exactly what I say right there, baby. And it's so funny because people are afraid to say that, but it works so many times. Like literally think about if you were the seller on the other end of that line and you're talking to someone that says, I'm interested in buying your house. You want to sell, right? How much do you want? You really don't have a price. I'm not going to offer you more than whatever number. I mean, I got to assume the worst. Imagine if you're that seller, baby, you're going to throw out a number at that point. Now that's brilliant right there. Okay. So after asking price, step three is to ask open ended questions about yes. the property and the seller situation. He'll say, tell me about the property. What's going on? And this is where you need to be quiet and listen because the seller will tell you the most important things to them. This is where you'll uncover their pain and motivation. Continue asking open-ended questions such as, why do you wanna sell this property? Or why haven't you listed this property with a real estate agent? At this step, get them to do most of the talking. Dude, Jerry, I love you, man. I mean, dude, Jerry has interviewed me on his podcast and then watch me in the Closers Olympics and then spend an hour and a half doing a live where I spoke to two sellers. That's it. I only spoke to two during that hour and a half live. And he is breaking this down as if he is the teacher right now. This is amazing. I mean, he's nailing it. Like 100% nailing the Closers formula at this point. And once you understand everything the seller is openly willing to tell you, step four is to ask close-ended questions. Yes. This is where you dive into the details like what's the square footage or how old is the roof and so on. At the same time, step four is where RJ comps the property and runs his buy formula. Now I will say I'm doing that throughout, right? After we get the asking price, we're, we're comping throughout, but I get where he's going. Like he had to throw it in somewhere. He's throwing it in here. For those of you that are utilizing the closer formula, just know, that, hey, we're doing this from like step one after we get verification that they want to sell on. We've, we've already been comping, but he's, he's nailing this so far. And finally, step five is where RJ decides if it's a deal and moves forward or ends the call. If the price is a good deal, RJ will say, if I can cover all of the closing fees, buy this property as is with no commissions, what's the best price you can do? Just asking that simple question, will often result in an additional 10 to 20% price drop. Woo, buddy, look, he's just nailing it, like coming out with it. And he actually got to see this on a couple different calls where legitimately we were, we were getting somewhere in that like 12 to 15% price drops. 
And he was like laughing. Like, I can't believe, like, RJ, I heard you say, you know, it gets a 10 to 20% price drop. But now I'm actually getting to witness it. Such a simple but powerful question to close the deal. Now, if the seller's price is too high, RJ will pull away and say, I'm not the right buyer for you. And with that pull away, if the seller is actually motivated, they will reveal that to you and come down on price. So once RJ has a verbal agreement before hanging up, he tees up a digital offer, emails it to the seller, waits until they open it, reviews it with the seller over the phone, and gets it signed. I will say, going back to, hey, if the price is not right, but they are a highly motivated seller, one thing he didn't add here, and it, no, no fault to Jerry, I mean, he's crushing this video, is there is a piece of education that would go in there where, hey, if they're highly motivated, but the price isn't right, we will have to educate the seller a little bit on, hey, this is why the price needs to be where it is. Hey, the property condition, you're not taking into consideration what we have to do as an investor. So there's a little bit of an education piece that helps the seller come down. It's not just the pull away will bring them sometimes. Sometimes there's a little bit of education that goes along in that part. So let's quickly recap RJ's five-step sale process. Step one, do they want to sell? Step two, what price do they want? Step three, find the motivation by asking open-ended questions. Step four, find out details about the property by asking closed-ended questions and run comps and determine your desired buy price. And step five, decide if it's a deal and execute a contract while still on the phone. And by the way, you can follow RJ's five-step close process cold calling outbound with only one additional step. You or your VA cold calls the lead and asks, do you wanna sell? If yes, it's considered a lead and you ask about price, condition, and if it's vacant or occupied. Then that lead is passed on to you or your sales rep who asks, do you wanna sell your property on 123 Main Street? Yes, okay, great, what price do you want? And then follow the same sales process I just outlined. So if RJ's methods resonate with you, leave a comment and say, RJ, you're a flipping genius. And if you wanna learn more about how to implement his techniques, I'll put a link in the description where you can get more advanced training directly from RJ and his team. And finally, RJ and I did a YouTube Live where he called sellers and I called agents. Be sure to watch that video now and I'll see you on the next video. Wow, I Jerry just crushed that video. He outlined the closer formula like step by step. The five steps that we have, he absolutely crushed it. He, he exactly what we just taught in our, I mean, dude, our, our video on that was two hours, right? You just broke that down in like 10 minutes. Um, love that. Jerry, appreciate you, brother. Love you. Uh, it, it means the world to me that you took the time to create this video, to do the research, uh, to, to break down the closer's formula. Um, it's such an honor. And on top of that, um, I think there's a level of respect that he has that, hey, it's a different process than maybe what he has used in the past. Um, and and I, I love the fact that he brought up, don't necessarily use my tone or my exact words. Make sure you sound like yourself. Uh, Jerry, again, man, appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, let me know if you want to see me doing more reactions. The thought is, I could find other seller calls on the internet and I do a reaction to it. Let me know if that's something that you would want me to do in the comments. Jerry, again, love you. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for the video. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.